Okay, um, coach, congratulations again uh, today. Um, your thoughts on the game, please. Yeah, um, to be very, very honest with you, I thought in the first 45 minutes we were not great. You know, to, to be honest, I thought that we defensively, we weren't structured the way we had planned. Uh, our pressing strategy was not uh, the way we had planned. And for them, it was very, very easy to get out from, from the face. You know, we, we to press them. Um, but they got out of the, the press very, very easily. They pushed Mukwena playing a lot higher, almost like four attackers right on our, on our back three. And, uh, and we struggled. We struggled to, to win the ball when we did win it. We struggled to, to retain possession of it for, for long periods. And we struggled to create opportunities. And we had to soak up a lot of pressure in that, in that first half. You know, at halftime, spoke to the team, spoke about where we needed to rectify things in terms of how we want to press. We, we obviously made the one change taking our Jagun off and we brought to Tabo Nordada just to strengthen the, the midfield a little bit more. And until that second half, we didn't start great. Um, but once we got the goal, uh, that's when I think the game turned on its head and we started to look more confident. We, we started to keep possession a lot better. Uh, obviously, they needed to start committing bodies forward. And when they done that, we, we literally punished them on, 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 on the counter and we ended up winning the game. Okay, thank you, Coach. Uh, my apologies to you, uh, members of the media. Um, I started the question without admitting uh, all of you, uh, but I will open the floor to you uh, so you can ask the coach uh, questions. By the raise of hands, can I kindly please take the first question? Yes, Temba. Thank you so much. Uh, coach, congratulations. Temba Shabala, Jose FM Sports. Just a quick one. Um, coming into Swallows, knowing that they didn't score at home uh, when you hosted them in Cape Town and then coming to Soweto, um, how, how much realistically did you uh, gauge yourself knowing very well that the, one of the prizes is that you're going to play against Sundowns in the final if you go through this one? It's already a tough outing for you. Yeah, obviously, I think, you know, when we played them in the first leg, uh, at home, I think we were extremely dominant. And, and to be brutally honest, you know, we had a number of chances to, to have won that game. And it was fairly disappointing on my part that, that, that we didn't win that game and that it ended up in a, in a stalemate. As I said in the media prior to the, the game um, on Friday evening, uh, you know, the, the confidence and the morale of the team was pretty low, especially after the FIFA break and the friendly games that we played and then obviously the loss against Stellenbosch. Uh, so, you know, it was quite hard to try and motivate the guys, get them motivated and, and keep the, the morale and the confidence high. So when we came to play them in the league, to be brutally honest, our, our primary objective was to ensure that we didn't lose that game. So defensively, we were structured, we were organised, we didn't really look to to, to really hurt them going forward, hence the fact we didn't create a hell of a lot of chances. But I think the fact that we got that result obviously built the confidence and, 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 and the morale of the team uh, leading into this game. And, but at the same time, I was always at the confidence and belief that we will score, we will get goals, and, and sooner or later we are going to hurt someone because we have too much quality going forward. And someone's going to get, get hurt with that quality. And, and that's exactly what happened uh, this evening. You know, I think getting to the final was the, the primary objective. Who was going to be in that final was irrelevant. We now know, obviously, after the game last night, that it's going to be Memelody Sundowns and it's going to be a, uh, a tough task. But the, the main objective was to make sure that we, we got ourselves into that final. And I'm very, very proud of everybody from players to the technical staff, administration staff, for having achieved that. Coach Um, Good evening, colleagues. Good evening, Coach. It's Wongiseni from The Citizen. Um, how frustrating is this for you? Uh, 
for the team, we can see what you are trying to build with the team. We could see the team spirit uh, when even the goals were scored. Some were celebrating even before the goal was scored because they knew that the pass was going in. Um, but some other games, it's not there. It's like uh, it's a stop start for you. How frustrating is that? And how what are you doing to, to make sure that you have this machine for every game that you play? Yeah, very frustrating. You know, like, it's, uh, like I've stated in the media before, our preseason, we were scoring a lot of goals. And, um, but once the league started, uh, that, that seemed to, to dry up. Um, but like I said, it's, unfortunately, it's a psychological factor that psychologically the, the whole team is affected when, when, when we're not scoring. And then when, when that situation happens, uh, you, you tend to become slightly negative and, and start focusing on trying to, to keep a, a clean sheet at the back. And, and now you're not positive when you're going forward and you, st- you end up start making a lot of mistakes and a lot of errors in terms of your final pass, in terms of your decision making. You know, so what we hope now is obviously the fact that we've scored these four goals and the players that were involved and the players that scored those goals, that has now built the confidence and the morale moving forward. And now we start seeing the team perform to what we know that the team is actually capable of, of performing. So I think there's a lot of positives we can take from, from today's result. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Tash and then Nati. Thank you. Hi, Coach. Good evening, College. Uh, Tashri from Sport24. Um, congratulations on the victory, Coach. Um, I mean, it's only been a few months since you returned to the club. And, you know, City has been known to be this cup specialist ever since the existence, since 2016. Um, you, in particular, must be proud in terms of uh, the short amount of space that you have gotten with this team to get them to a final and uh, your seventh final to be uh, just a minute. Yeah, definitely. I'm yes. very happy to have got the team to, to a final. Um, you know, that is one of the targets that we set ourselves when I joined joined the club. I was obviously involved with the club when we, when we won the Telcom. Uh, and I've been fortunate as a coach to, to have gotten into many finals. You know, and obviously that hunger, that desire, that passion hopefully spills off uh, on everybody else. And <clears throat> so I'm extremely happy and proud of the fact that, you know, we, we've managed to achieve that again. But, you know, uh, very important. We, we, we want to go all the way, irrespective of who we come up against. You know, it's going to be tough one against Sunat. But obviously we want to try and go out then and, and, and win the trophy. Yes, uh, Coach, uh, good evening, colleagues. Uh, good evening, Coach. Uh, this is Nati from NGFM in Kolokwan. Coach Terence uh, Manchero seems to be, you know, improving every game. And uh, I'm sure you are not surprised that he got a uh, Bafana call up. And then the second, your comment on that one, perhaps a second question. Uh, you are playing against Orlando Pirates this weekend. I'm sure this win must be motivating enough for you to say, guys, we can still go score perhaps more than two goals or even four goals? Yeah, obviously, Terence making the national team, fantastic achievement for, for him, considering the fact that he only played one season in the PSL here at Cape Town City. He was in the NFD. Uh, when I was coach at Maritzburg, we were also eyeing uh, Terence and his ability and, and Cape Town City uh, managed to snap him up and and he had a fantastic season uh, last season I thought from from watching the games and he was pretty fortunate uh, the fact that Dove Ed Nielsen uh, picked up the injury that he that he did and, and was out for as long as he was uh, it gave uh, Terence that opportunity to to grow very very quickly uh, at Cape Town City. But what's important about Terence is his humility, his professionalism. He's someone who, who works extremely hard at training. Uh, I gave everybody off on Sunday. Uh, he opted to rather come in and train just to show you his commitment uh, to the game and, and his will to, to want to achieve and, uh, better things. So I think he's a, a fantastic example of what 
a true professional footballer should should be and how they should behave. And and I see a bright, bright future for him. He's still young. He's still got a lot to learn. Don't get me wrong. Um, he's not the polished uh, product as yet, but definitely his ambition is is very, very high. Obviously, yes, now we, we turn our focus to Orlando Pirates, league match at home. Uh, again, we set ourselves targets and objectives, and, and those targets and objectives means we need to, to get a positive result against Orlando Pirates. Uh, we play at Cape Town Stadium, uh, our home, which is what we, we love and enjoy. Uh, we play a brand of football that is a good brand of football at Cape Town Stadium. We seem to struggle to play that football when we play at So, yeah, I think the boys are going to be fired and raring, raring to go, especially after a positive result like, like tonight. Okay. Uh, Hello. Yes, you can you can ask a question. Oh, I got sorry. Um, how does Cape Town City, you know, revert cup form into league form? I mean, we're going into the twentieth season. The last time a Cape Town side has won uh, the PSL title uh, since Santa, Santos in the two thousand one two thousand two thousand two uh, campaign. Is is there, is that possible for for Cape Town to achieve to transform that gap, um, form into league form and perhaps fire for for title credentials uh, in the Premiership? Given the, the current place is, I'm sure you're not happy with that as well. Currently lying 11th in the league, yeah. the game in hand. Yeah, obviously, um, the important thing is consistency in terms of um, performances on the field, you know? Uh, and I think that's that's obviously been probably the Achilles heel at, at Cape Town City, is the consistency in the performances. Um, back in 2016, uh, the key matches to us not having really pushed to, for the title was, we played Barocca, what I can remember. We lost to Barocca, we lost to Platinum Stars, uh, and those those teams are teams that you can't be losing to if you're looking to to chase the title. Those are teams you've got to be collecting maximum maximum points. So obviously that's got to be the focus uh, this season. You know what tends to happen: a lot of focus is put on the big clubs, Orlando Pirates, Mamelodi Sundowns, and and Kaiser Chiefs, and and we we all tend to be able to get results sometimes against against those big clubs, but but leagues are won and lost by by the small clubs, by the smaller teams, by by going away and getting a result against Barocca, uh, by going away, getting a result against TTM. That's that's what's going to get you to leagues, you know, going away to Maruma. You know, these are the teams that, that you need to get the results if you want to be competing for the league. And then obviously, depth. A lot of depth in your squad because the league it's not five, six games like a cup competition. A league is 30 games and it's a long season. It's done over 10 months. And during that period, you're going to have suspensions. You're going to have injuries. And it's going to test the depth of your squad if you want to try and win leagues. And I think that's key. I think we have enough depth in our squad to compete, to compete. But I don't think there's a team in the league that has the depth of uh, Mamelodi Sunnahs. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Nati, is that your new hand or an old hand? No, it's an old hand, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, uh, we'll take the last two questions. Um, any takers? Uh, yes. Valen, you can go. You're the only one who's got your hand up. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, it's Valen Coatley from Newsroom Africa. How much did the weather play into your hands being from the Mother City with it being so wet and windy tonight? Well, that only happened in the second half, to be honest. First half, there was no rain. There was no wind. 
but I think you're right because we scored our goals in the second half. So maybe, maybe Mother Nature helped us this evening. Are you hoping for much of the same uh, for the final on the 30th? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not even thinking that far. To be honest, I'm thinking about Orlando Pirates. That's where our focus turns right now. Uh, we've got a whole month in terms of our preparation leading to, to that final. Uh, and in between, there are some important league matches for us to, to complete. So, so I think everybody's focus now turns, turns to that, you know. So we'll only the week leading up to that cup final where we, we start uh, focusing on, on Mamelodi Sundowns and, and how we aim to, to be competitive against them. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Sponsor, take the last one. Um, <clears throat> sorry, um, Coach, I know you've just said that you'll only focus on the final when you get to it, but obviously the players are excited and looking at how unforgiving Sundowns have been this season, um, well, what, what kind of message do you, do you say to the players to make sure that they just forget this um, and just focus on the journey that's immediate now, which is the league. And what, 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 when, when you think of Sundowns, what comes to your mind? Um, I think what's and, important when we talk about the players, you know, like I said, at the beginning of the season, we set ourselves objectives and targets. One of those targets was obviously to win the MTN8. We find ourselves in the final, so we, we stand an opportunity there. The other objective was to ensure that we look to try and finish in the top four. As one of your colleagues had stated earlier, that currently we find ourselves in 11th position. So we're still going to try and meet those targets, those objectives. Those games now become important as well, not only the, the MTN8. And, you know, there's this whole 30 odd days from now until we, we get that final, and there's three uh, league matches that need to be played in between. So, you know, that's nine, nine points. Nine points are extremely impo important to us trying to achieve those objectives and goals that we set ourselves. We don't want to call it talk is cheap, you know, important when, when, when we make. Uh, uh, when we set ourselves targets, that we try and meet those targets. And everybody needs to take responsibility in that. It cannot only be me as the coach. It's not only my job to, to get people motivated. Players need to be motivated. Players need to be focused. Players need to remind themselves that, you know, these were targets not set by, by others. They were, they were set by, by us as a team. Collectively, we, we set those targets. You know, so so we all need to uh, buckle down and, and work hard to, to to achieve that. Thank you very much, Coach.